G'day guys, what's cracking? It's Ralph here. I'll take my sunnies off because I always think it's a bit rude to talk to somebody when you've got your sunnies on. You can't see the eyes. But now you can see my eyes. Hopefully you can trust me. <laughs> well, if you're watching this, you've chosen to trust me. I want to talk about the Ulanzi Claw Quick Release System today. Uh, Ulanzi sent me this in a mystery box and I'll put the link to that video at the end of this. You can see what else was there and what other options there are available. But I have wanted a quick release system for all my days. All my days. So I want to run you through what it looks like, how it works, and then tell you what I think about it. If you can tell me where we are, you get a special prize of glory, which will be glory. You'll be able to tell where I am, um, if you know. So put that in the, uh, in the comments below, what this location is behind me. I might tell you at the end of the video, so you might want to comment now. <laughs> So my camera, as you know, has an L bracket on. An L bracket means you can attach like this, and you can attach like this. You can also attach to your strap. So what I wanted to do was have a system that I could build into this that I could use on a frequent basis. And this system does that, but for those of you that don't have an L bracket, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my L bracket off and play with this system without the L bracket on so you can see if it might work for you. There are two elements to this setup that I've got from Ulanzi. The first is the base plate with the Ulanzi bracket, and basically one clips into the other in any direction you like, and you just press these two buttons to release it. This goes on the camera, this goes on your tripod, and it just clips in like that. If you want to lock, once it's in, you just flick this over the side, and no matter how much you press these buttons, you can't remove it. Super handy, right? It has these options of quarter 20 screw drives where you can attach it to anything. And so I'm going to attach this to my tripod and show you exactly how it works as this goes on the bottom of the camera. Take your base plate of your tripod, you screw this on so it's nice and flush. So the base plate goes on the bottom of your camera. The bracket goes nice and tightly on your tripod. You make sure they loop that you use to tighten it is down and then it's as easy as this see look at that how good is that once it's in this position you can just do whatever you like with it it's tight it's good to go and then when you release you just press the two buttons and lift the camera off so again you push you don't even need to push it down you just clunk it down you can clunk it down one hand if that suits and it enables you to not have to worry about screwing stuff in and tightening up and doing all that. And you can also set your tripod up so you've got it perfect for that astro shoot or that landscape. And then a bird flies along or something else happens and you're like, oh, I don't want to muck about with this. I just want to shoot that. You're easy. You're good to go, right? And you just click, 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 come back as we were, boom, away we go. I love, I love, love, love a quick release system, but I've always been jealous of those photographers that have the, you know, the bracket here. And so Yulanzi have helped me out with that. And I got a bracket. I want to show you all about this. You open this and it's revealed your shoulder bracket. Comes apart here and that's how it attaches. I'll show you just about that in a minute. And here's the interesting thing. When you go with the claw system, it comes with the same base plate. So still got the base plate on my old camera and I can use that to click it in like that. So we don't need to worry about multiple base plates um, but we do have this for another camera so if you have a different camera that you'd like to use that you want to attach to um, yeah you have your camera here and you have another camera here and you want to swap them around you can do that right they all have the same base plate you can buy a base plate separately you can buy your bracket separately you can buy your bracket separately it clicks on here you can buy this as a set there's all sorts of different options in the description below there's a link and you can go and you just choose to your heart's content what sort of configuration and setup works for you again this has a lock on it so when it's on you that's locked and it can't go anywhere i need to put this on a strap so you can just get a good gist for it um, when you do it i would suggest that you do it with both the lock up so you can see if it's locked or not but also with this coin there's a magnetic coin that you can use to tighten this how good's that so we have this magnetic coin that sits in here that can't be can't be knocked out but that's how you know it's up so basically what we do is we find the bit of our camera bag where it's going to work and what i've discovered is about here works um, too low you risk you risk cutting off your nipple. Too high, you risk damaging your jaw. It's about here 
works. You walk along with your camera just here. It's within grasp here, and I usually take hold of my camera like this and release like this. First of all, you unscrew these as far as they'll go. I don't think they come out. I don't think they just pop off and you get lost. But that gives you a lot of depth now that you will need if you've got a hearty strap to put your camera on. In fact, they probably will come out, so just be careful with that. You loop it around the back, you lock it down the front, and you lock it in, get in there. Oh, I need a bit more. Yes, and it's locked in. Look, it even looks neat and tidy. Look, and then you just screw up, and, well, don't be a screw up, just screw it up. And I would screw one side and then the other, and then go back and forward, so that you don't have an uneven clasping of the bracket. And obviously, um, you want to make sure it's super tight. And I might actually shoot a bit, go a bit lower than that. The problem with the low pro straps is you've got all these other buckles that you've got to negotiate. But I would put it on and then reposition. But here's the beauty of it, right? You can just grab that and stick your camera on, and your camera just hangs. So I'm going to put my bag on so you can have a bit of a look, see how, see how it actually plays. So I've got my strap on now, my bag on. I have my coffee, good to go. And I usually just put a, I actually think, I'm going to put it a bit lower. I like it just here. I think here is too high. Yeah, because I'm craning my neck to look at it. It feels a bit weird, it's too high. So we're going to drop it down lower to about here. The lady came past before with the dog and she stopped and she's looking at me. Like I'm famous or something. Should have asked her to be in the shot, shouldn't I? Would have been fun. She had this massive Dalmatian. Those white dogs with black spots. Super cool. So obviously you want to muck about with this until it's it's how tight you want it and in the right position that you want it. I like it there. It doesn't dig into my shoulder as I as I bend like this. Um, it sits so it's handy. Watch this. Um, the camera doesn't impede my movements or my actions um, and also unlocking I hold it like this and I click it like that and we're away. How good's that? I like it and then I just put a thumb behind it to secure it But and then there's a lock on top and I can lock it if I'm doing a lot of hiking and I know through a bit of a stretch where there's some rocks I need to climb up but I'm not going to have to have a camera I lock it in and that, that's not moving it's not getting out of there at all I'm not sure you'd want a massive lens on the bottom of it but you probably could you probably could and then you can just flick the lock across with your finger and you're away to go you can then put it on your tripod and you're good now a couple of things I need to say about these straps if you don't have it in the right place it's super annoying so muck about with that until it's in a bang on the right place. You need to be able to access it, and because it's up here, it can be a little bit awkward. So again, you need to work out what scenario works best for you. I found the scenario of holding my camera like this and clicking like that gets it off. This is for ease and access of use. You can also have another camera strapped across you that you can just pull up so you can have the, the double, double, thing, double, double cannons and you can buy these that have a um, strap that allows you to put a camera strap on too so they're um, congruent with peak design if that's uh, what you'd like to do and the straps that I have on these, these are peak design um, toggles that go in the peak design class system I'll put a link in the description below so you can check that out if you'd, if you'd like to now having played with this system for quite some time and loving it I've discovered some things that I need to tell you that are slight drawbacks that you need to be aware of and that is that sometimes it doesn't easily click in sometimes now by easily I mean it's it's not all the time seamless seamless is like like that's not seamless but seamless is click now sometimes it's seamless and sometimes it isn't so I think that's good to be aware of but once it's in it's in Here's the other key thing with this. You want to listen for that click. There's a distinct click. Hear that click? That means it's locked in. If you don't get that click, you ain't locked in. And the last thing you want to do is think you're locked in by being sort of halfway locked in and you walk around and your camera can bounce out of the bracket. But this is locked in fully. So because it's on the angle and you can't slide it in, you can only... The other challenge is, so because it's on the angle, you can't just slide it in. 
They've got another system that I'm going to talk about in due course where you can just slide it in and lock it in. But the challenge with this is because it's push, you have to make sure both sides of the clasp are clicked and you need to make sure it's super tight locked into your camera because otherwise it's very difficult to remove. Look at this. See how easy that loosens up? So they've given you this tool. You can just pull out of here super handy and then you can just tighten up to your heart's desire and your way to go so a couple of things to keep in mind if you're considering buying the Ulanzi claw system um, I don't want you to have it and then be disillusioned when you get home or frustrated but I love it I just love it it's cool I went to a zoo the other day and shot the whole day with my camera stuck on my shoulder on off on off um, and it even it even looks good like it doesn't chip and be bashed up easily um, these things are hard to dent and bring out of place which would mute make make the um, locking mechanism not work but we're not talking about that at all and you can easily lock it and unlock it just with a swipe of your finger but I have found that this mechanism so shooting hand going across and unclipping and then holding is the best way to release it because you need to release it like this if you release it like this it, or this it locks up because of the depth of this was that helpful if you're considering buying one i would encourage you to do so they're just they're really cool they're great they make things so easy i shoot with a couple of guys who have these shoulder straps from different companies ulanzi seems to be really competitive when it comes to price the product is really good and i can stick this bracket on my l bracket and still attach it to here without a worry in the world and then i can also stick another plate on the top bit of my l bracket and it might look a little bit awkward but you know if you're going to do a shoot where you're going to use a tripod and you're going to do a lot of landscapes and then portrait um, orientation shots then gosh it's it's worth it just for that um, saves you having to worry about dropping your camera or losing your gear if you enjoyed this and it was helpful i would really appreciate a subscription and uh, hit a like on the channel and otherwise i'll see you in the next video bye so if you stayed this long to watch the bloopers i'm actually at Coolangatta, and this is snapper rocks behind me and the city looks spectacular the base plate with the oh, what's it called first is the base plate and the bracket this video feels scrappy gosh i hope i can pull it together